I uh, grew up in the great state of Maine in New England, in uh, the United States, and um, uh, in the countryside, uh, lots and lots of pets, uh, horses, chickens, dogs, lots of cats, and uh, in the lake nearby, lots of turtles. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, was that inspiration? Definitely, yeah. Because that was, uh, my grandmother actually lived on the lake, and um, there was kind of a swampy outlet part of the lake and uh, just filled with snapping turtles and painted turtles and stuff and I loved them as uh, just dinosaurs, they look prehistoric to me so they look like you know these miniature little living dinosaurs and, and I just adored them, I thought they were fascinating. Turtles started as an idea um, between uh, Peter and I and we had a studio in Dover, New Hampshire, it was called Mirage Studios because it was a Mirage, it was our living room, it wasn't a studio um, and we had come up with a bunch of different ideas to sell and had submitted a lot of samples and concepts and, and tried to get uh, different kinds of work. Lots of rejection letters as we all go through. And late one night I had this idea of um, uh, if Bruce Lee was an animal, what would be the silliest animal? Fast moving martial artist, slow moving turtle. And so I did this sketch on my hat, which is actually the first turtle drawn uh, back in the day. And that was the joke. I said, this is the next big thing. Ha ha ha. It's going to be a ninja turtle. And that sparked the studio one-upmanship, you know. He did a version, then I said, you know, one, one out a group of them, so we did a sketch of four and added the Teenage Mutant to the title, and we held this drawing up at the end of the evening and just said, this is a incredibly stupid idea, and we love it, and let's try to come up with a story that tells how these characters uh, became the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In 1984, 93. Nothing. No, it was, it was, it was never, with, with an idea like that, it was just the, line, the, the lineage, the lineage of Bruce Lee, Turtle, haha, ha, you know, the, it was just a natural joke that there was never a second thought. And, and, and you know, it, it was, that was it. It was just, it worked. It made us laugh and that's where our barometer sort of started and end. If it made, uh, we thought it was neat and interesting and made us laugh, then that's, that's what we stuck with. Um, that's a great question because um, growing up as a fan of the, 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 the medium, you know, uh, um, all genres, you know, I loved when they did, you know, Star Trek versions of the turtle toys, you know, huge Star Trek fan growing up, you know, we, we put them in outer space so we get to do our homage to uh, all things Star Wars and George Lucas. Um, they've been in and around the, the superhero universe, we've been very influenced by other things in, in pop culture and genre that we've sort of put them in. Um, in particular, I was a huge fan of a comic book called Daredevil. Um, growing up and I'd love to see them have a, a, a spend time with them in that universe. So we did a Batman Turtle crossover which was fantastic. We did a Ghostbusters Turtle crossover which is awesome. Power Rangers of course was just an absolute blast so uh, that's, that's a bucket list. Turtles Daredevil. That's a good question because um, you know I love the, the, the first Turtle um, video game which was so hard to beat I never beat it um, and it was sort of set in based on this uh, time travel device which is the transmat machine um, which I think led naturally to well the arcade game but then led naturally to the uh, turtles in time but I'd actually like to take them a bit into the future in that uh, um, another concept I loved growing up was the first movie I ever saw in the movie theaters was Planet of the Apes and so I always thought like um, Jack Kirby had created this universe um, of a character called Commandy, which is, you know, humans were slaves like Planet of the Apes, the animals were the universe. And I thought if the turtles went into the future and were in that kind of environment where animals ruled the world, and, and so that would be a very interesting dynamic for them to experience. So I'd, I'd, I'd take it there. You know, that's a good question because it really is. Um, I love them all and I'm not copying out on it, you know, it's just, it's, um, different stories have been done with different um, artists behind them uh, and exploring different ideas and there are some I like a little less, there's some I like a little more um, and, uh, and I like that there's been things tried that didn't necessarily work out. One in particular was, uh, uh, one that I particularly liked was called Turtles the Next Mutation which was a live action TV series. Fans didn't like it. I did like it, <laughs> worked really hard on it, um, but it just didn't resonate with the fans. Uh, and then I would point to the first Turtle movie as being my all-time favorite um, adaptation, the 2007 animated Turtle movie that Kevin Monroe did, also fantastic. 
and I would jump from the original cartoon series to the 2012 Nickelodeon series, which is most definitely one of my favorites. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, um, truth be told, you know, it's always a tough one to answer, you know, feeling like they're, I'm a co-parent of four wonderful turtles, teenage turtles, even after 40 years. Um, but when push comes to shove and fans go, well, if you had to choose one, who would you choose? Um, I always point to Michelangelo, only that first born uh, for no other reason than, well, he was born first, so if I had to choose one, I guess him, but I love them all dearly. I worked in a pizza place in high school. That was sort of my inspiration, um, in part for the turtles loving pizza. Was that um, as a teenager, that's where I ate a lot of pizza. All my friends ate a lot of pizza. Um, but my favorite, current favorite, of many years actually, is uh, inspired by my wife's uh, um, dad. Um, he likes Hawaiian pizza, but with jalapenos. So it's sort of salty, sweet with the spice. So I need a lot of that. It's really um, when you you, know, you think about it that um, everything is is um, up to the fans, and you know uh, again, it's not a a cop out or a thing like that. Is that they decide what's cool and what's not cool, and uh, you know always have. It's like you know the turtles could have just as easily failed. If there's something that was unique about the turtles and what we created, whether you say it's the the passion, the story. Um, what we put into it, what people get out of it, um, why that worked and why street sharks didn't or biker mice from Mars didn't or something else didn't. And uh, um, so it's really, um, you know, the fact that I'm here in, you know, Sydney, Australia, <laughs> doing a, an amazing comic con with a huge line waiting for me uh, um, nearly 40 years later is mind blowing. It's incredible. It's humbling to be honest it's uh, it's quite fantastic the fans have given me a great life and a great job and uh, i hope to keep earning it you know uh, i always said people said if you love comics and if uh, the turtles never happened what would you be doing and i said i'd still be doing comics because that was you know since i was eight or nine years old that's in my the mortification of my parents that they were horrified that I wanted to be a cartoonist. You never make a living, support a family, and whatever. I'd be doing something in comics, and uh, so the future, I'll continue doing uh, anything turtles that I still um, find a great story to tell. And that's the most important. It's got to be story first, and then you follow that path. Um, uh, and if it comes a time that's uh, that's not there, I've got lots of other ideas.